It's time for Grand Sumo Highlights. Konnichiwa and thanks for joining us. It's day seven of the May tournament. Yesterday on day six, Yokozuna Hakuho went down for the first time as he was beaten by Abi. Will Hakuho rebound from the defeat to remain in contention? And here are the current standings as we head into day seven. Tochinoshin is the sole leader with undefeated record. Kakuryu, Hakuho, and four others are right behind at one loss each. From about this point, the schedule for each contender usually gets tougher and tougher, which means that there will be uh, plenty of exciting matchups for us to see and enjoy. Now let's begin today's Grand Sumo highlights with this match between Tochi Ozan and Kyoku Taisei. Tochi Ozan 3-3, three three, Kyoku Taisei this man, Shinyumaku Ruki is 5-1, very impressive so far. Tochi Ozan's three match win streak was snapped yesterday, let's see if he can start another winning drive here. Tochi Ozan advances with a good pushing attack and he takes care of Kyoku Taisei with no problem. Kyoku Taisei loses for the first time in six days. He's now 5-2. Tochi Ozan, in the meantime, is four wins and three losses. Good attack from the inside position, Tochi Ozan. Already, next one is Arawashi and Aminishiki. Both men only one win after six days. You've got to give that 39-year-old veteran a lot of credit for giving his 100% effort. A lack of practice due to his banged-up body is making things difficult for Arawashi on the left. Here they go. I mean, she gets a left-hand grip and hurls Arawashi to the edge, but in the end, Arawashi trips him up. Arawashi wins. And Arawashi wins for the first time in five days. Aminishiki almost got the job done, but Arawashi stayed on his feet and resisted. And in the end, he was able to pick up one of Aminishiki's legs and uh, took him down to the dirt. Let's see what happened in the end. Aminishiki goes for the swing out maneuver with his left hand Watenage attempt. And uh, look at the left leg picked up by Arawashi. Watch Aminishiki's left leg where Arawashi picks it up. That's a Komata Sukui win. It is Aoi Yama versus Chionokuni. Chionokuni looking good. Five wins and one loss. Feisty Chionokuni is competing in his 20th Makunouchi contest and he is holding his own. Aoyama's competing with bad wheels, and that's why when he gets taken back, he cannot show any kind of resistance. Here they go. Aoyama tries to gain an inside position, and he takes Chionokuni back to the edge, but Chionokuni recovers and takes Aoyama out. Aoyama buckles, and... Uh, is he okay? We are really concerned about Aoyama's knee injury because uh, he hurt his knee during the provincial tour in spring and uh, he was forced to sit out the rest of the provincial tour, but he seems to be okay today. So Chiyono Kuni advances to 6-1. and one. He got a good inside position, Aoyama. He attacked Chiyono Kuni, but Chiyono Kuni uses quickness, slips to the side, goes right behind Aoyama and takes him out. It is Dayamami and Asanoyama. Dayamami even, 3-3. Three and three. Asanoyama a little bit better, 4-2. and two. Dayamami seems like he's getting used to the top division atmosphere. Yesterday's win for Asanoyama was his 100th career win. Dayamami takes Asanoyama to the edge. Asanoyama now rallies. He keeps up the pressure and sends Dai Amami out. So Dai Amami loses for the third consecutive day. 
And Asanoyama racks up his win number five. Not a bad touch eye by Dayamami, but the follow through wasn't there. Okay, we'll see it from the beginning. Dayamami, like he had a pretty good position here, and he attacks, takes Asanoyama to the edge, but he was not able to put away Asanoyama right there. So Asanoyama resists and rallies, gets a deep inside hold of Dayamami, and Dayamami now in trouble. He tries to slip to the side, but Asanoyama doesn't give him any kind of room to escape. All right, next one is Daisho Maru and Takakeisho. Daisho Maru, very impressive. Five wins and one loss. Things are clicking for Daisho Maru. Takakeisho is leaning too far forward, and that's why maybe he's lost by slapdowns three times already. Even Stevens touchy eye. Daisho Maru attempts a pull down and then shoves Takakeisho to the edge and finishes him off. Both end up in the front row. And that is Daisho Maru's. 100th Makunouchi Top Division victory. Fourth straight win for Daisho Maru, and he goes to 6 and 1. Not a bad charge by Takakeisho. Takakeisho goes after Daisho Maru, but look at the push and Inashi by Daisho Maru. Daisho Maru sends Takakeisho all the way across the Tokyo. To the other side, look at the right hand thrust down or Oshi maneuver, and that's a frontal push out win. Up next, it is Hokuto Fuji facing off Chiyomaru. We were able to see Hokuto Fuji's best sumo yesterday during this basho. Chomaru picked up a win yesterday at the last minute. He's shown some good defensive skills too. Hokuto Fuji attacks with a good hand placement. Hokuto Fuji charges. Chiyomaru recovers. Hokuto Fuji once again starts the drive and this time beats Chiyomaru. So at the edge, Chiyomaru was able to resist and recover, but the Hokuto Fuji just did not rest. He was aggressive from start to finish. See what happened here. An armpit hold by Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji is the one attacking from a much lower angle. Good hand placement. And we thought that Hokuto Fuji was going to beat Chiyomaru right here, but Chiyomaru shows an amazing recovery, tries to circle away, but Hokuto Fuji just did not allow him to go anywhere. It's Yoshikaze versus Ikioi, both men 4 and 2 after 6 days. They are meeting for the 15th time. They are tied in their series 7 and 7, dead even. So here we go. Yoshikaze is a feisty rikishi on the left. Ikioi goes in hard. Looking to gain an inside position. He doesn't stop anything. His forward pressure was applied on Yoshikaze at all times. And Yoshikaze just gives up. It was Ikioi from start to finish. Coming in hard and finishing off Yoshikaze in a very emphatic way. Here is Ikioi attacking Yoshikaze. Yoshikaze wanted to gain some kind of a hold on uh, Ikioi, but Ikioi shuts him down. It's Koto Shogiku, 
four and two versus Yudan struggling a bit one and five. So when Koto Shogiku keeps his opponent at dead center, he can outmuscle pretty much just about anybody. One and five, Yudan always makes a late surge, so maybe this time is no exception. We'll see. Shogiku quickly goes into Yudan's side of the dojo and drives and Yudan backpedals and he is out of the ring. Just cannot stop Koto Shogik's relentless charge. So Yudan falls to 1 and 6. In the meantime, Koto Shogiku now 5 and 2. Koto Shogiku is 34 years old, but he still fights like a 24 year old. Look at the Gaburi Yori, the hip pumping attack, and it's all over. Here, Takara Fuji is going up against Shodai, 5 and 1. Shodai suffered his first defeat yesterday. Will he get back up with a win here? Everybody knows how strong and dangerous Takara Fuji is once he gets his favorite right hand outside grip. There they go. Takara Fuji get, gets that grip and he wins convincingly. Wow. Takara Fuji gets his favorite grip and look out. He makes a quick work of Shoda and he goes to 4 and 3. First left hand inside and right hand outside next and Takara Fuji doesn't rest. So it is Tamawashi going up against Daesho here. Daesho still looking for his first win of the tournament. So will he get his first win today? It was as good as it gets for Tamawashi yesterday. He beat Ichinojo with a solid pushing attack. Another good pushing attack by Tamawashi, but Daesho slips to the side and beats Tamawashi. And Tamawashi had never lost to Daesho in their five previous meetings. Daesho wins for the first time over Tamawashi. More importantly, Daesho scores his first win of the May tournament. A sigh of relief for Daesho for picking up his first win. Good move to the right. Right here. With a Tsuki Otoshi thrust down. It is Mitakeomi versus Kaisei. Mitakeomi 4 and 2, Kaisei 1 and 5. Mitakeomi is one of those Rikishi who many are holding high expectations. Kaisei finally ended his dry spell yesterday. Can he score another win today? Kaisei absorbs Mitakeomi's charge. Kaisei gets a firm hold of Mitakeomi and it is all over. Kaisei scores his second win. Mitakeomi now 4 and 3. Kaisei has a huge physical advantage over Mitakeomi in this one. He outweighs Mitakeomi by about 40 kilograms and he's about 15 centimeters taller than Mitakeomi. So, Kaisei's game plan will catch Mitakeomi with a solid grip because he knows if he can do that, he will have his day. And that's exactly what happened. Right hand first, left hand solid, dropping his hips, Yorikiri. Okay, it is Sho Hozan facing off Ichinojo. Ichinojo four and two. Ichinojo has lost his last two. He simply cannot lose anymore if he wants to stay in the championship race. Shohozan beat Kakuri on day four with his fierce offensive attack. Oh, 
There they go. So holds on with a quick charge. He gets a double inside grip and looks to be in good shape. Each Nojo is seeking to get a belt grip, but he cannot get it. Shohoza hurls Ichinojo to the deck and takes the match. Shohoza wins for the first time in three days. Ichinojo loses for the third straight day. So Ichinojo is four and three. Shohoza gets his win number two. Speed kills. Shohoza uses speed to go inside of deep. Ichinojo, Ichinojo makes a big mistake by trying to slap him down. Now Shohoza finds himself with a decent position. Double inside grip Morozashi and gets that right hand belt grip and he utilizes that to hurl Ichinojo. Here is the Kyujo announcement. Endo has withdrawn from the contest due to right biceps injury. Here is Endo. The newly promoted Komusubi is now out of the tournament. As a result, Endo's day seven opponent, Tochinoshin, will receive a Fusensho forfeit win. So Tochinoshin stays perfect and goes to 7 and 0. Oh. Next up it is Abi versus Goedo. Abi 2 and 4, Goedo 3 and 3. Abi was saying yesterday he feels like a million dollars after beating Hakuho. It's turning out to be a mediocre tournament for the 32-year-old Ozeki. Just 3 and 3 at the moment. Goedo starts early, but he gets taken down by Abi. Abi scores the upset for the second straight day. First, it was Abi beating Hakuho on day six. And today, on day seven, he beats Gozeki Goedo. What an impressive performance by Abi. Slap down win. Problem continues for Goedo. He loses for the fourth time in five days. Three and four now. Goedo comes in fast, but Abi stops his charge and goes immediately for the slap down. And it works. He moves to the side and hits the slap down, and that's the way to do it. Congratulations. Thank you. Two days in a row, you're visiting the interview room. I'm very happy. How about your score of three and four after fighting all the high-ranking Rikishi? Well, I think I've been doing well. What did you do to get these results? Well, I've been uh, aggressive in my sumo and doing my style of sumo. The fact that I was able to do that gave me some confidence. Already, here we go. One of the Yokozuna will perform first. That is Hakuho, 5 and 1. Facing off Chio Taidu here. Hakuho cannot show any letdowns from his defeat yesterday. He has one loss. Jotai is hoping to knock off Hakuho for the first time. They met eight, seven times before. This is their eighth meeting. <laughs> Hakuho with an intense charge. The Yokozuna gets his favorite weapon and he doesn't waste any time and has little trouble. Dispatching Jotai Ryu. Hakuho doesn't make a mistake in two days in a row. Chiu Taidu is now 4 and 3. Hakuho bounces back and goes to 6 and 1. No problem whatsoever. A much improved Tachiai from his yesterday's match. Gets the grip, and as soon as he gets it, the thing is, he doesn't give any time for Chiu Taidu to recover. 
or respond. Goes in low, tries to get that shallow grip. He doesn't get it, but second attempt, he gets it. And when he gets it, he knows what to do with it. He goes in for the kill and gets the job done. Yori Kiri, 6-1, Hakuho. Now here is the Musumi no Ichiban, the final match of the day between Kakuryu 5-1 against winless Yutakayama. Yutakayama is fighting in the Musumi no Ichiban, the final match of the day for the first time. Kakuryu suffered his lone setback on day 4 but has done a nice job recovering from that loss. Takayama pounds away. Kakuryu pushes him back. The Yokozuna pulls and Yutakayama advances. Kakuryu again goes for the slap down and this time Yutakayama collapses. A razzle dazzle win for the Yokozuna, but win is a win and he will take it. Yutakayama came close, but no cigar. So Yutakayama's consecutive losing streak continues. 0 and 7. Kakuryu, by the way, he improves to 6-1. So a third straight win for Kakuryu after losing on day 4. Good job, Yutakayama. Thrusting. Kakuryu wanted to catch. Yutakayama cannot. So he almost made a mistake right here by pulling. But he circles away. He knew there was some space behind him. Goes for the slap down once again. And the second time, Tsuki Otoshi thrust down works. Yutakayama, although he lost, you gotta give him a credit for putting up a fight. Maybe next time. So that's going to do it for day 7 of the May tournament. Here are the leaders, Tochinoshin all by himself. At the top, Kakuryu, Hakuho, Daishomaru and Chiyo no Kuni are the trailers at one loss each. Tomorrow on day 8, NHK World Japan will broadcast the last 50 minutes of the top division action live. Please tune in to NHK World Japan for Grand Sumo Live on day 8 at 5.10 p.m. Japan time. For now, arigato for watching and sayonara.